Trevor, the traction engine, was old-fashioned, but he doesn't care. He knows that he is really useful, just like his friend Edward the Boom Engine. One summer morning, Trevor was chuffing about the vicarage orchard. He had some important news for Edward. The vicar tells me that not all children are able to afford holidays by the sea, so he is having a garden party to raise money for a special seaside trip. I'm going to be the star attraction, giving rides to all the visitors. The vicar is putting up posters all about it. I'd like to help too, but without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a garden party. Never mind, chuckled Trevor. I'm sure we can find a way. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. I hope there's something I can do for the party. I'd like to be helpful like Trevor. Edward's driver laughed. Cheer up, Edward. You're helpful in your own way. And that's here on the railway. Next day, Edward stopped by the vicarage orchard. It was Trevor's turn to look disappointed. He had bad news. The vicar has been so busy prepping for the party that he forgot to put out the posters. Now no one will know about it. Edward had an idea. Don't worry, he smiled. Everything's going to be all right. Then he explained to Trevor and his driver. My driver can paste the posters on my cab and coaches, so wherever I go, they'll go too. Well done, Edward, said the driver. I'm sure the fat controller would agree, as indeed he did. Edward steamed happily through the stations, collecting his passengers. Look, they said, the vicar is holding a party. That will be fun. Later, Trevor was resting in the orchard shed when Bertie rolled by. Hello, Trevor. Why are you dozing there like an old stick in the mud? I'm not dozing, I'm resting, replied Trevor. Then he told Bertie about the vicar's party. I know, I'll be there too, boasted Bertie. I'm not sure people would want to ride in an old traction engine after travelling in a smart red bus like me. Goodbye. <laughs> the party day arrived. It had rained heavily during the night. The orchard ground was soaked. Rain and mud won't spoil my day, said Trevor. No, indeed, agreed Jem Cole. We'll stay on the road, then we won't get bogged down. Trevor was soon busy, trundling up and down the quiet country lane, carrying lots of laughing children. He was just turning a corner when he heard Bertie. Hello, old timer. I'm taking everyone to the party. People have come from all over the island. Trevor gave Bertie a cheerful beep beep and turned back towards the orchard. Then there was trouble. Help, I'm stuck, shouted Bertie. His wheels had sunk deep in the orchard mud. Terence the tractor arrived just in time. I'm the one who has to plow fields, laughed Terence. We better get you out of there. Using strong ropes, Terence and Trevor pulled Bertie clear of the mud. This will teach Bertie a thing or two, Trevor chuckled to himself. At last, Bertie was on the road again. Thank you, Trevor. You're not such a stick in the mud after all. No, smiled Trevor, but you were, just for a little while. That evening, the vicar arrived to see Edward and his driver. Thanks to your good idea about the posters, Hundreds of people paid to come to the party. We've raised lots of money for the children. Edward was very pleased. That night, Trevor fell happily asleep, thinking of all the children who would now get to the seaside at last. <laughs>